welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck and suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2020 bmw 330i x drive is the one we have today and i did review actually the m340i earlier this year and i'll leave a link to that video at the end of this video if you wanted to check that out but this is the less expensive version so i did want to check this one out as well and this is one of the most popular luxury sedans out there it comes with an iihs top safety pick also a big plus there as well. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be two different configurations for the BMW 330i. First one being the standard rear wheel drive configuration, starting at $40,750. Then you have the X drive, the one we are in today, being BMW's all wheel drive system, starting at $42,750. But regardless of which setup that you go with, the power plant is going to be the same on this one. Powering the beast will be a two Two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 294 pound feet of torque available at around 1500 rpm power again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.4 seconds according to motor trend which should be more than adequate again we'll be testing that out as well top speed is going to be electronically limited at 130 miles per hour and mpg numbers get this you guys 26 in the city 36 on the highway that is like that's like civic miles per gallon but with a ton of power that's the difference but that is pretty impressive i gotta say but overall before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or anything else did want to mention the driving modes there are some driving modes located just to the left of the shifter there they will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the throttle response shift points steering sensitivity and adaptive suspension if equipped that is going to be an option i'll touch on a little bit later in the video but now that i've covered all of that though what do you guys say let's test out the paddle shifters what i'm going to do is slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is going to give me full manual shift mode so the car doesn't shift for me and let's see how quickly they react for us here and let's kind of see the acceleration but we will do an acceleration test right after that but let's see how nice the paddle shifters are here yeah instant freaking tanius i don't know why i'm always surprised i love quick reacting paddle shifters though and every bmw i feel like that i drive has got them it's wonderful so if you wanted to play around in the back roads with the paddle shifters do it because it's worth it in this car they actually react insanely quickly so you gotta love that but now that we've done that i'm going to slide the shifter back to the right that's going to give the 330i back full control and let's do a quick little acceleration test let me find a straightaway and let's see how quickly we can get this thing up to speed all right you guys coming to a quick stop and three two one here we go there it is <laughs> oh my goodness loud <laughs> fun car definitely <laughs> i will say there is a Ever since life in a turbo life, but dang, once it kicked in, it certainly got you up to speed. Not as quick as the M340i. Therefore, if you wanted a little more power, go that route. But still, plenty of power to merge you onto the highway. 0 to 60 and 5.4 is definitely very impressive acceleration. This is going to be more than enough, quite honestly, for just about everybody. But to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so actually the 2023 30i will come with high performance four wheel ventilated disc brakes and bmw listed it that way on the website so i had to do a little further digging and i'm thinking what's the 60 to zero stopping distance since it's such high performance well it comes in at 103 feet and let me tell you guys 103 feet is 100 percent sports car i know my mustang gt with 15 inch brembos and six piston front calipers will do it in 99 feet so really not much of a difference there for comparison's sake if you were comparing the 330i to the audi a4 a4 comes in at 105 feet so actually kind of impressive there too but nonetheless 330i still squeaks by with insane braking so that is definitely pretty cool as well so i did want to mention that but anyway Always touching on suspension and handling a little bit as well up front you will find a double pivot type front suspension in the back five link independent rear suspension with cast aluminum upper transverse arms twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers 
Oh, it's pretty standard, but I did want to mention there is some optional setups there too. Adaptive M suspension goes for $700. That really gives you the best of both worlds. It's going to give you a smoother ride because it monitors each shock absorber individually, but it's also going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering. So again, best of both worlds there. It's probably an option I would go with personally. And I also did want to mention for the 330i, there is a track handling package that goes for $2,450. That gives you not only M Sport brakes, but also an M Sport differential or a locking rear differential in this case, sending torque to the rear wheel with the most traction. So that is certainly going to help you with handling and actually acceleration as well. So another option you can consider if you wanted a more sport oriented 330i. And as far as the ride quality goes, it's pretty much as expected. And again, that adaptive damping suspension is gonna make it even better if you wanted to go that route, but it's certainly on par for the course there. As far as the steering feel goes, it's nice in sport mode. I just got done reviewing an M car and really nothing's gonna compare to that. So wouldn't have minded a bit heavier of a steering feel like the M car, but then again, that's what you got the M340i for. That is gonna give you a heavier steering feel so this is pretty much as expected there cabin noise is just fine visibility is great and really with any sedan you're not going to have any issues with visibility so that's definitely a big plus as well rain sensing windshield wipers come standard as well so if the 330i detects any kind of mist or rainfall it will automatically turn them on for you so it's one less thing you got to worry about there kind of like automatic headlights Head-up display is going to be available with the premium package that goes for $4,700. Includes other stuff, of course, as well. Or the executive package going for $5,900. And so that's going to help keep your eyes better on the road so you can better focus more on enjoying the drive. And that's a good thing, too. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of the 2020 BMW 330i. All right, here she is, you guys. The 2020 BMW 330i finished in Alpine white in case anybody was curious. Up front, you're gonna find that active kidney front grille with the chrome perimeter surrounding it, of course. Do want to also mention there is an M Sport package that goes for $5,200. That's gonna give you slightly more aggressive styling up front, more of an aerodynamic kit that continues around back as well. But even without that, you still have air curtains in the lower two corners of that front bumper, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. So that's a plus to the sides. LED headlights come standard and that comes with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you. So you don't have to worry about that led daytime running lights also coming standard and i did want to mention there is a convenience package that adds led headlights with cornering so with the cornering function meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a possum or squirrel whatever or maybe one of these birds in this little overhang that we have here Anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to the side on this one. So to the side, chrome window surrounds will come standard on the 330i. Gloss black window surrounds are actually going to come with the M Sport package. Then take a look at the side mirrors here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Power adjustable body colored side mirrors will come standard and they are actually heated with LED integrated turn signals. All of that coming standard, so that's definitely nice. Taking a step back, looking at the wheel setup now, 18 inch V-spoke alloy wheels with run flats. That's currently what you're looking at. If you were to go with the M Sport package, that is gonna add 19 inch M double five spoke alloy. So slightly bigger setup there. I guess that's as expected, but making our way to the back, shark fin antenna up top as expected. Just around back, LED taillights do come standard and of course just below that dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip Now, since we are round back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob if you like, just simply press that. Did want to also mention that with the convenience package, there is a hands-free trunk that comes with that package, meaning just kick your foot underneath the rear bumper there and the trunk is gonna open up automatically. It's a feature typically found in SUVs. It was kind of refreshing seeing it found in a sedan like the 330i here, so it's kind of cool. 
Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at an even 17 cubic feet. I wanted to do a comparison here. If you were to compare that to the Audi A4, Audi A4 actually comes in at an even 12 cubic feet. So that's a big difference there actually. And there of course is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it then. Making our way to the rear legroom, that comes in at 35.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. And for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders. There's also rear ventilation back there and heated rear seats if you were to go with the executive or premium packages. That's pretty cool too. And in addition to that, there's a couple phone charging ports back there too if you wanted them. But make our way to the front seats. 14-way power adjustable front seats do come standard. They do come with memory settings actually as well for up to two different drivers. Those buttons are going to be found at the driver's side door of course. If you wanted heated seats, it is a standalone option for $500 or they also come standard with any package option whether it be the premium, convenience, or whatever. You are going to be able to get heated front seats with that as well and they certainly are comfy and again they do come with power side bolsters in typical bmw fashion meaning the side bolsters can hug you in place a little bit more or less and it really fits all body types so that's something i always like to mention with bmw because i love that but taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it will come heated if you were to go with the executive trim level at least and the 10 and 2 grips although they aren't as thick as some of the m cars they are still thick enough so i actually still like the grips in the 330i here as well then moving on to the startup here let me first start by showing you guys the key you do have lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch on the key it's all on one side of the key lock button is the bmw logo in the middle there but it is all keyless entry though so if you like just simply keep the key in your pocket put your foot on the brake there is an engine start button located just to the left of the shifter there so Let's press that real quick. Once started up, there are two different gauge setups. There's your standard setup with a smaller digital display front and center. And then there is the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that comes with the premium package and the executive package. And that of course is what you were looking at right now. So love this gauge setup. You have a digital speedometer within the regular speedometer on the left, tachometers on your right. Also tells you what driving mode you're in when you adjust that up there. Tells you what gear you're in if you were to be shifting through gears manually. There's your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. And of course, dead middle of it all is going to be your navigation setup. And you're not gonna be really be able to tell right now because we're not on a road, but still that's where your navigation is going to show up there. Then make your way to overall interior quality. Power moonroof is going to come standard on the 330i. Wireless phone charger goes for $500 as a standalone option if you wanted that. Ambient lighting goes for $250 as a standalone option. We do have that today, hence the reason while I pulled under this overhang so I could show that to you guys, it's pretty cool. And you can adjust your color selection through the infotainment screen up front here. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Universal garage door opener comes standard actually for up to three different garage doors and those can be found just underneath the rear view mirror there. Three zone climate control comes standard as well. Well, so that's driver, passenger, and rear passengers. That's a standard setup. That's pretty cool. You don't usually see that. And again, in typical BMW fashion, there's certainly high-end finishes in this one as well. And I love the two-toned combination of the Carrera light leather and the dark colored dash with the wood trim as well. So definitely a very nice interior quality. The ambient lighting, I think, has got to be my favorite though. But let's now go ahead and take a look at the tech display. 8.8-inch color touchscreen display will come standard. Now, we'll say it is a touchscreen, but it also is voice act activated as well. There's a circular dial and buttons just to the right of the shifter. That's yet another way you can control what is on that. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard Android Auto Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the 330i. You have free navigation, the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there. Factory navigation system does come with the premium package and executive package, I will say that. But even without that, you still got navigation through Android Auto Apple CarPlay, so you got that. You can check out your climate control information up there. And of course, like I said, your ambient lighting. So the way to access that, you go to car, you go to settings, you go to interior lighting. And then you click color and the brightness and all that fun stuff, but blue, green, lilac, orange, white, bronze, heck of a lot of different colors you can choose from here. So I'll try to show all of those to you guys right now. It's pretty cool. I think I kind of like green with the light leather. They all look honestly pretty cool. So we're going to leave it at green though. I think I'd like that. Anyways, you can also select your radio information up there. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, 10 speakers, 205 watts is the standard setup. However, there is an optional 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that goes for $875 if you wanted that but 16 speakers 464 watts if you went that route but we 
do not have that set up today so we have the 10 speaker sound system so what do you guys say let's turn on the radio see what we got playing right now and let's test out the clarity of this one it's all right it gets the job done certainly not going to be as good as the Harman Kardon sound system but that'll do just fine no problems with that sound system there but last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the 330i in reverse you will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines do want to also mention though there is a parking assistance package that goes for $700 that is actually going to add a 360 degree monitor with various different views so that is there that is available for you as well if you wanted to go that route and as always that is going to lead us into safety. And so like I said at the beginning of the video, the BMW 330i is an IIHS top safety pick. So certainly a good start there. Front side, side curtain airbags come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna find latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system comes standard, adaptive cruise control. And there's a ton of standard advanced safety features to go along with that, including frontal collision warning, automatic city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and auto dimming rear view and driver's side exterior mirror. You don't always see that, so I wanted to emphasize that. Blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert doesn't come standard, but it does come with any of the package options. You can pick any of them. You're gonna get the blind spot monitoring system that way. Driving assistance package for $500. That provides partially automated support, including traffic jam assist, steering and lane control. A blind spot monitor also comes with that package if you wanted that. And park distance control sensors that kind of beep at you if you get too close to an object, basically. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the 330i, good handling, good ride quality, amazing fuel economy for what this car is. So that's certainly good. Amazing braking as well. That 60 to zero stopping distance of 103 feet. I can't get over that. That's amazing for this segment. I will say that ambient lighting is definitely a must in my book. The only thing I would have liked to have seen, it would have been cool to see the three series still offer a manual transmission. I know they probably don't sell almost any of them although i will say the genesis g70 does offer it still but probably not for that much longer but i did want to say it would have been kind of cool to offer manual transmission but overall a very solid choice here with a 330i certainly enjoyed my drive here today and that about concludes my review so feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold America.